Hello, welcome to LEB Toys. We are building the Lego Friends Hot Lake City Amusement Pier. So instead of being on a park, the amusement stuff is on the pier right next to the sea. This looks so cute and it is all pirate and sea themed and it's huge. It's got all these fun things going on, including skeletons with, there's a light brick in here. All right, so much good stuff with this. I'm so excited to build it. This one's the biggest set of the summer sets and there are 10 bags. Oh, look, look, there's all those new little fishies, all the little, oh, well, not fish. They're not necessarily fish. They're all little, they're in coral colors and they are well we'll look at them later because I'm getting confused <laughs> so many good things in here oh look there's lots of chains in that bag and somewhere here we've got our wow massive instruction book and we've got some sparkly psychedelic holographic stickers and oh that looks like we might have a haunted house kind of thing that would be cool and we've got some <laughs> got some sails for our pirate ship the first book here is quite skinny and it seems to have some of the uh, Sideshow Alley stuff in it. This one's got the big rides in it. This is cool. All right. Mini dolls. There are a heap in this set. And first up, we have got Olivia in an outfit that she has already been wearing. So it's not a new outfit, but she looks so super duper cute in this. It really, really suits her. And she is all dressed up, ready to go to the amusement pier and hang out with her friends. But of course, she needs a bow. The ubiquitous friends bow. So she is as pretty as can be and ready to rock and have fun. She is joined by... This looks like we're looking at Emma colours here. Check out this new top with all the little scallops on it. No printing on the back still, but one day, maybe one day. <laughs> but Emma has got the cutest, I don't know if it's the cutest new top of the season, but it is so cute and it's so by the sea themed. And she has got sunglasses to protect her eyes from the sun while she's out having fun. Fun in the sun. She looks spectacular and these girls are so excited to go and try out the new amusement pier. Now, Stephanie has got the loveliest bright sunshiny yellow skirt. She has got shiny silver shoes. <laughs> and she's got a she's kind of like just wearing her sports top which I don't know that she'd be wearing that to hang out with the girls oh but maybe she just came straight after a netball game or something like that on a Saturday afternoon so she didn't bother to go home and get changed but she did well she'd change into a shiny silver shoes all right there are two more mini dolls in this set and I had to dig in the bags like right near the end for them this one is a mermaid she came out of bag number nine and we've seen this top before we've seen this tail before this is ariel's tail but this little face do you recognize this face because the <laughs> the mermaid is not ariel the mermaid is chloe who does all sorts of random odd jobs by the looks of it including dressing up as a mermaid at the amusement pier so i wonder what other job she's going to have now she's also joined by Zach? Is it Zach? Yeah, Zach, who once again kind of doesn't look anything like he does in this series. And he's got no hair, he's just got a pirate hat with all his hair obviously heaped up underneath it. So I stole him out of bag number 10. So we won't actually see their accessories and stuff until right near the end of the build. But let's start building. Let's start seeing what we're going to have at this amusement pier. And first sticker is like three bricks in. That's amazing. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever put a sticker on this early before, but this is the in arrow, which means we need an out arrow and I like the way they have different colors just in case I got confused which I do do quite a lot I do get confused now we have a hinge part here to attach another little tiny base plate and we're building well, we're building the little kiosks or I don't know little sideshow alley games but it, it does look like with those in and out arrows that this might be the entrance way so this might be the ticket booth I think this is the little turnstile definitely the ticket booth <laughs> the way you go in. So you're going to pay and then Emma's demonstrated beautifully how you go in and how you go out. Thanks for that. <laughs> that was really very good. All right. Let's put another hinge here and let's see what else is going on on the entryway to the theme park. This is so exciting. I think Zach is actually going to be working in the ticket booth. I think he's working here. I don't think, in fact, I'm sure he's working here because he's got a pirate hat on. He and Chloe are employees at the amusement pier. They must come here to earn, wow, $30 for the tickets. Actually, that's not surprising. That's probably pretty cheap. Here's a $100 note and a ticket. So everything we need to be able to get in to the amusement pier. Oh, this is looking really good. Okay, so this is hinged 
so we can actually angle it however we want to. And now we've got a massive sign at the top so that you can see this from far away. And I'm trying to put the sticker on correctly. And I love this. This is actually like a holographic version of the whole theme park. Ha, ah, cute. <laughs> I love how it's pirate theme, but like quirky, cool pirate theme. <laughs> so cute. All right, that goes right above the entryway. And we need one more sign over here with lots and lots of lights. So you can't miss it even from 16 miles away. It says tickets. Tickets. Let's get the tickets over here. And Emma has gone in. I don't know that she bought a ticket, but there's no amusement park here yet. So she's going to have to wait. <laughs> But not for too long, because here's bag number two. We are starting on some of the attractions. Now, Stephanie actually comes in the second bag, and her accessory is, uh, well, are some pink sunglasses. So, <laughs> just like Emma, but with pink. Okay, let's see what we have got next. We've already got our entry, so hopefully this is going to be one of the Sideshow Alley games. This is what I'm looking forward to. I'm actually looking forward to all of it. <laughs> it's all so cool. Just uh, love the fact that we can play with each part once we've built it too. We are going up, up, up. Maybe one of those like bang the thing so it goes up and dings the bell at the top. Maybe. Now this technique piece holds it nice and securely at the back. Right, so let's... Oh, we've got a big round circle-y thing. It's a spin the wheel. <gasps> win a prize. Spin the wheel, win a prize. Wow, you've got really good chances of winning prizes on this. What have we got? We've... I don't know what we've got yet. Let's put it on and when we spin it we could get... Well, we don't know because we need a little pointery thing. So here's our pointery thing. Looks like a duck's beak. And it's going to point down so we know when we spin it. Oh, pizza! Oh, cookie! Oh, nothing! Oh, uh, oh pizza again! Oh, cupcake! Where's the teddy bear for crying out loud? There's only one of the teddy bears, so our chances of winning the teddy bear are less than winning all the other things. All right, so we've got a sign on this, so it's going to go on the tippy top too. The tippy top too, that's so much alliteration. <laughs> okay, we've got our sign now. Let's spin the wheel and put the prizes on. Cupcake first. So let's put the cupcake where it says to put it in the instructions. Spin again. Cookie! Let's put a cookie over here. And, oh, that's on the line, but it's pizza. So I wonder if this is, like, why would you have a pizza? Maybe it's like a gummy pizza. That would make sense because you wouldn't want like just a cold pizza or a lukewarm pizza that'd be terrible. Uh, let's put another cookie on over here. Now we've got all the cookies we need. And the teddy! This is what everybody's been waiting for. Well, I've been waiting for. The teddy comes in this set. <gasps> it's not a pink teddy like the picture though. I'm slightly disappointed. Another pizza, but we got no room for another pizza and we don't have another one included in the set. But we do have another cupcake. So now our prize wheel is fully equipped. And let's see. Olivia has come to do the first spin. She's won a cookie! A cookie, and I'm going to give her the spare one so that I don't mess up my prizes down there. And Emma, what's she going to win? Oh, she's won a... Well, actually, she keeps kind of getting... Keeps getting the little stripe between or nothing. Cookie, no. A uh, cookie, yeah, definitely cookie. It was probably a cookie the time before. Oh, by the way, this set comes with the teal brick remover, which is really cool. Okay, everybody has a cookie, except for Stephanie, but I'm sure she'll get one later. Emma really wanted the teddy. They're just all going to stare at the teddy while we build the next... Well, the next thing. Let's see what it is. We've got, hmm, we've got a semicircle and a little, a uh, little outcrop on it. So kind of like a servery, maybe. This might be a food store. Oh, a new waffle piece. A new waffle printed piece. Oh, how many have we got of these? Oh, cool. And I don't know what this is. Is it cheese? Do you put cheese on waffles? I don't know. Uh, and this is our waffle press to make the waffles. Oh my goodness, now I want waffles. Oh, I really want waffles. What is the yellow thing though? That's stumping me. Maybe it's uh... I can't get past. Maybe it's cheese. <laughs> I'm sure it can't be cheese. Can it? Do you have cheese on your waffles? I kind of thought waffles were a, were a sweet thing. Maybe it's the batter. Oh no! Oh, I'm so silly. It's butter. Of course, it's a block of butter to actually grease the waffle iron. Oh my goodness, I'm so silly sometimes. <laughs> I just can't see these things, even when they're really obvious. Now, we have got some really, really pretty lights to decorate up the top of oh, the waffle stand. I'm so excited by this waffle stand. I'm so excited that we're not actually putting cheese on the waffles. <laughs> that would be... Oh no, you know, maybe you like cheese with your waffles. I'm not going to judge you. If you like cheese with your waffles, you go for it. Okay, we've got some awesome, awesome lights on the top. 
just trying to rearrange them so they sit nicely and then we put another little light on the back that looks so pretty and of course we're going to need a sign up the top which is what I think those outward facing red bricks are for or the studs are for here's our sign hold on there are ice creams on this sign I haven't seen a single ice cream yet ah but we're keeping on building up here it looks like it looks like a nice big whipped cream top yum oh here are our ice creams so here's an icy pole and Ah, ice creams and waffles and a hundred dollar notes. I could get a lot of waffles for that. And here is a waffle ready made and there's one more spare one in the set. So cool. Oh, and some chocolate. No, not chocolate sauce. Maple syrup on the waffle. Oh, yum. Wow. Okay, we're up to bag number three, but I'm still so excited by the waffle stall. I'm going to go shopping at the waffle stall. Let's see what we got here now. We are going in. So that's good. It's nice that they're not leading us directly out. And Emma has demonstrated how this works, but now she needs to get out of the way because we need to build there. <laughs> she got the teddy! When did she get the teddy? Did she win it or did she just take it? <gasps> I don't know. It's a mystery that we might never solve. Okay, I think we need to keep an eye on Olivia, though I don't think she's ever going to put that teddy down. We've lined the entryway here with a whole heap of lights, so there's no way we are going to miss the way in here. And we've got, we've got like a timer. So six seconds and a green and a red stop and go button. So this must be like the mechanics or, you know, not the mechanics, the, the control, the control panel for whatever this is going to be. So it's going to be a ride. Ah, oh, this is exciting. All right. Let me see if this sticker does not give us a clue as to what the ride is because it's got sparkly hearts on it. Okay, so this is not a ride unless uh, a bench seat is a ride. Is a bench seat a ride? No, I don't think so. <laughs> but it looks pretty. It's really pretty. Oh, and popcorn. Wow, there's just random popcorn over here. I love this little popcorn. Have we ever seen this popcorn before with a little pop on the box? I'm sure we have. Maybe in the Unikitty sets. Can't remember though. All right, we are building up and it's really colorful. <laughs> then it goes right in the middle of our big base plate here, but we're covering up all those colors now with a big purple cone. Oh, this is going to be a mega ride. We are heading up, up, up. And we've got a nice big stick down the middle to help stabilize the whole thing because we are going super high. Oh, wow, that's so cool. All right, down here, back down the bottom, we've got a little, oh, a little storage area to put your purse before you go on the ride. Sensible, uh, because it is a five cent piece. <laughs> in a phone that people have oh, they've obviously fallen out of people's pockets while they've gone on the rise <laughs> that's so cool okay we're up to bag number four this is where we've got some really cool shaped pieces including a whole handful of these little pink heart tiles which are new well new this year there were two of them in the sister starship from the lego movie two sets but if you didn't get that one they're in this one and we are making uh, some sort of technique thing with these big yeah, these little semi well little big semicircle shapes okay so this is going to help hold an enormous structure on i think technique is very strong and it it just makes it makes nice strong structural pieces but i don't quite know how this is working yet we've just made something super strong this is actually going across the middle so that's really adding to the strength of our yellow circle that we made Oh, this is exciting. What is the ride going to be? <laughs> now we have got, oh man. All right, we have got to build eight of these. So let's speed this up. Eight of them. It's not like they're chairs or rides for people to sit in. Where are they? I don't think so. Okay, so I think, oh, okay. These are decoration, oh, the decoration for our yellow circle. So we need to, we need to make sure that they are spaced out evenly around our yellow circle. Nice! That's really nice! And now we've got yellow pieces with the hearts to alternate with them to add a nice pattern all around our big circle. Now these hearts, uh, yeah, okay, I'm trying to line the hearts up so that they're going to be sitting nice and flush upwards. Nice. All right, so eight of them. What are we up to? I don't know, I lost count. There's a heap. Eight's a heap. I think there's a seven. Is this seven? No, it's six. <laughs> no, oh, I don't know what it is. We're almost there. 
Where that we have? Okay. Well, now we're on eight. <laughs> I don't know where we are when we're up to eight. Okay, and we got one spare. Wow, all right. Let's uh, put these in between all of the other pieces. And now we've got a cute little alternating pattern around our circle. That's so pretty. Oh, hold on. Is it going to go that way? So are my hearts upside down? I don't know. We'll find out when we install it. For now, let's just leave it as it's really easy to turn those little heart tiles around anyway. You don't have to take them off. You just twist them. Okay, we're up to bag number five. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Let's see. Oh, I don't know how this is going together, though. So let's see. This is kind of reminiscent of building the carousel. So we're making... We're making a whole heap of round structural pieces to hold this, or to hold the round bits in place. Hmm. Right, it's lovely beachy colours though. Okay, in between our little strange sloped pieces, I just can't, I don't know what we're doing it. Oh, okay, so these... Are more of the slope pieces but they are now that's how you can angle them in those big empty spaces on the little jumper on the little jumper studs that's so pretty and then we put the oh looks like the sun it's the sun oh on the water oh, it's so sunshiny and happy and now we've got a big stick with a big red nose on the top which goes all the way through and this is like an enormous umbrella no it's not this goes through the top of our technique pieces here and it's making a fantastic oh my goodness it's making a fantastic round thing <laughs> what is that what is a fantastic round thing I don't know. Uh, all right, we're making some more little technique structural pieces here, I think. So we're definitely making like a, it's not called a tea bar because it's not quite a tea. But oh, and now we got dangly bits on the end. Oh, this is so awesome. So this goes in here underneath and the dangly bits dangle down so it spins around. So we're installing this on the top and then when it spins, Whatever's attached to the dangly bits, which we are about to build now, are going to spin around too. This is a swing chair. It's like a swing chair carousel-y thing. So it definitely is a carousel of sorts, but not with little horses, with swings. So you can fly out and feel really sick in the stomach. Do you get motion sick? I don't know that I'd really enjoy going on one of these. Well, I suppose we'll be right as long as you know, nobody makes it go forwards and back. Now, this has got chains four chains and the instructions are very definite about the fact that they need this needs to be facing upwards so that little bit down the bottom needs to be facing upwards otherwise it's not going to hang right it's going to look weird so we've got four of them all of them are going up looking cool and olivia is going to be the first one to ride i wonder if her bow is going to fall out maybe she should stash her bow in the <laughs> in a little purse holder thing all right so now we need to just work with the little back chains. They all go on this little four bar here. And I'm not quite certain how this is going to work yet. Whatever it is, it's going to work in a really, really cool way. It's going to be very exciting. So we've got a technique piece here. So, oh, that's the bit that's going to stick into our dangly downy bits. And these are going up and over the front chains to attach here. And then this yellow bar goes across the top, holds it all in place. So when we pull it up like this, it hangs. It's a swing. Oh, I'm feeling ill just looking at it. Okay, so it goes up, pokes into the dangly bit. And then when you spin it around, let's give it a go. It runs into all the other things that you've built, which is really dangerous for the passengers. Oh my goodness, that looks totally unsafe. <laughs> Let's build some more for the other girls. Yay! So there are three dangly bits. So obviously we're going to need three of these swings. One for each of the friends. I don't think that Zach and Chloe get to uh, go on the rides. So sad. Oh, I don't actually think, actually, we wouldn't be able to put a mermaid in here because it's not set up for a mermaid. We'd have to just adapt the seat a little bit, change it out. <laughs> except she might then fly out we'd have to figure out a way to really secure her in there let's put these top chains on and put a little yellow bar at the top and let's hang stephanie up here too oh this is so much fun oh round and round and round they go ah oh awesome all right emma's turn let's just stop this swinging 
a bit. Emma's turn, let's make the last little swing. They're all exactly the same design. They're not even a different color, which is fine because it would get very busy with lots of different colors on the swings with this, I think, because there's lots of colors going on up above. Now, before you get in, you need to put down your cookie and you need to put your teddy down too. Otherwise, they're just basically going to fly around and hit other people in the head before they fall to the ground. Uh, okay, so now we need all of the chains. Let's do this super fast because we've already seen this how this is done twice. Though it is so cool. All right, put the back bit on. <laughs> Watching carefully, make sure I don't make any mistakes. We're ready. Okay, let's put Emma up here, and this chair swing is ready. Let's uh, let's start it off steady. And round they go. Actually, they just keep. Oh, whoa, whoa. <gasps> that's awesome. Oh no, hold on, they're, they're banging into the middle pillar. Oh, there's lots of banging. Oh, that's terribly unsafe. Oh, it looks awful. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they're having a great time. Emma and Stephanie just ran into each other. <laughs> okay, well, it's obviously balanced well enough that they swing out. <laughs> it's a wild ride. Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh, Olivia's gonna have a headache because she ran into everybody then. <laughs> Maybe if I go back and forth a little bit, kind of like wind it up and then wind it back. That seems a little bit less dangerous. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Alright, this is so, so much fun to spin around, even if they are banging crazily into each other. Alright, we're up to bag number six. There are ten bags in here. We are going to save the ghost pirate ship ride for the next video. So make sure you subscribe, click the little notification bell so you know when it comes up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking of the build so far. Oh my goodness, I just noticed that Stephanie is standing up. Emma's got her teddy back. All right, okay, so they're not going to use this equipment safely, obviously, because that would be no fun. <laughs> We'd better finish up the rest of the build, so I'm going to go and get organized, and I'll see you with the rest very soon. Bye!